what are the hurdles that have to be overcome to do exact strip? That's what it's about. How do we get over those hurdles together? How do we make it easy for the farmer? There is a lot of concern though in in from like one brand to another. Not that it's a problem. Not that it's a but problem. There's a concern. But there's a lot of concern that when you put the lines from a one planter into a floater, they're not going to match up quite right or they're going to be off a little bit. That's the concern. That's the concern. And that's not been our experience. So. Correct. Okay, that was really good. <laughs> so well, come back over here where you were standing. I'll do it again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jake Vossenkemper, Director of Agronomy and Research here at Look and Grow. Today we have a very special guest, Chris Stevens. Chris, why don't you tell the folks just a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, so my role is the technology specialist. Anything data management, VRT prescriptions, seating racks, guidance lines, that sort of thing, that's what I handle. Absolutely. So we brought in Chris today because he's going to talk to us a little bit about best management practices re regarding sharing guidance information. Yep. As it, as it relates to exact strip. Okay. But before we talk about exact strip, we wanna talk a little bit about our 15 inch dribble band approach to fertilization, which we've been doing for a long time. So I've looked at 15 inch dribble banding relative to broadcasting. We see roughly a five bushel yield increase over a bunch of sites. I've also been investigating this exact strip fertilizer placement technology. We see an additional three to five bushel on top of dribble banding with exact strips. Things are always changing, we're always progressing. We wanna do the best job we can for the farmer. So we're moving in that direction. Yep. So tell us a little bit about guidance line management. You know, there's a lot of concerns about sharing guidance lines between equipment A, B, and C. Is that a concern? There is a lot of concern though in, in from like one brand to another. Not that it's a problem. Not that it's a but problem. But there's a concern. But there's a lot of concern that when you put the lines from a one planter into a floater, they're not going to match up quite right or they're going to be off a little bit. That's the concern. That's the concern. And that's not been our experience. So. Correct. We're happy to help you and work with you for every situation. But the good news is you know how to do all that stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Chris is your man for the job. If you're confused about how to move guidance lines or equipment A, B, and C, you have a lot of experience with those things and you can figure that out. Yes, sir. So the best thing we can do right now is come out and get your guidance lines as soon as possible. That way we can get them into SMS and I can get them shifted over, get them back to the floater and we can get out there and do it. Some of the other concerns regarding lines are, do I really need RTK? Do I really have to have RTK? Can we do this with WAS? Can no. we do this with satellite RTK? No. Why do we need RTK? Uh, we need RTK for the year to year repeatability from when we go out there and put your fertilizer on in the fall, we want you to be able to come back in and plant right on top of those same line and, and be exactly where we put that fertilizer. Can you explain year to year repeatability and pass to pass repeatability? Okay. What's the difference and why yeah. does it matter? Yeah, so pass to pass is literally when you're going through the field, pass by pass being accurate. Year to year is the guidance line never moving year to year. And with sub RTK or less than RTK, our pass to pass accuracy can be pretty good. Yes. But we found that, find out that that's not the case from year to year, and that's why you need RTK. Correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I mean, you can come back and, and pass to pass even with WAS is fairly accurate in most places, but RTK is what's needed for year to year, which would be sub-inch accuracy. All right, Chris, so obviously a lot of the P and K acres that we do are on what we call 15-inch triple bands, correct. meaning that the nozzle spacing is 15 inches, and that's how we band. When we do exact strip, are we doing 15 inch triple bands? Or are we doing, are we doing, are we going to 30 inch centers or what are we doing? Primarily 30 inch centers. I mean, most people are running 30 inch corn, so 30 inch centers is going to be the way we're doing it. What about 20 inch rows? Can we do 20 inch rows? We have one location that's got a 20 inch, or they're setting up a floater to be on 20 inch spacings. So we could potentially. We could do potentially that. do that. Yeah. So, Chris, how is a customer supposed to know if we apply these fertilizer bands in the fall, yeah. how is he supposed to, know, supposed to know he's really planting on them if he can't see the fertilizer anymore? Yeah, so a lot of our locations have had doubt about exact strips and we have been placing flags in the fields following the floater after the fertilizer has been applied and come springtime it's been working out for the farmer and they've been planting right back on top of those flags that we placed. And Chris, I will also say that, you know, given this is new, when a farmer and a retail salesman experiences this yes. just how close we can be they're often like wow yeah i can't believe how close you really can yeah get. 
it's been pretty amazing to see people kind of change their tune about just how accurate this can be. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. And the, the first time I ever applied on Exact Strip, I came back to the office and I said, "Why isn't everybody doing that?" Okay, I agree. All right, Chris. So you've heard it here. We believe strongly we can apply this fertilizer very accurately to where you're going to plant. So if you want to experience it yourself, get a hold of your Lucky Grow salesman. We look forward to doing business with you. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.